Now the pitch. A swing and a long drive to deep right field. This ball is gone. Jose Ramirez gets his first hit in 2018. Smoking a two-run home run to right. And the Indians jump on top two to nothing. And a huge contingent of Indians fans in the lower bowl on the first base side of the ballpark uproaring. Oh, did Jose Ramirez tee off. He had 29 long ones a year ago. But Encarnacion, runner takes off at first. Bluff throw by Butera, nobody covering. Jose Ramirez gets his first steal. Ramirez swings and hits one high and deep to left. Reyes is licking up this ball. Gone to the bleachers. A line drive solo homer to the bleachers and left by Jose Ramirez. His second home run. And the Indians have drawn first blood. Tribe now leading it one to nothing. And Ramirez now with a home run from each side of the plate this season. And that was a laser to the bleachers and left. And that's the first home run Boyd's given up this season. Then will bring up the DH, Edwin Encarnacion. In recliners after a ball game, courtesy of Wayside Furniture. Runners on the move. The pitch is a strike. The throw to third. Not in time. Double steal for the Tribe. Ramirez takes third. Brantley moves up to second as the throw went to third and was just a little bit offline that throw by McCann. So Candelario, the third baseman, had to grab it on the infield side of third, and several feet in from the line, and that helped Ramirez slide under the tag, we think. Swing and a high fly ball to deep right. Castellanos is back on the track at the wall. Leaps. This ball is gone. A two-run home run to right by Jose Ramirez. It's a 6-0 Tribe lead. And a four-run second. And for the first time this season in downtown Cleveland, Mother Nature becomes an ally for a hitter. A towering fly to right, that wind blowing out, and Ramirez with his third home run, second in this series, and the Indians have blown it open early. There is Michael Brantley, 0 for 1. RBI hits the pitch. Swung on and blasted. Deep right field and out of here in a blink of an eye. Jose Ramirez, a three-hit game, and it's 3 nothing Indians. Ramirez hammered a missile to right. His fifth home run of the year, four of them left-handed. And the Indians now have a 3 nothing lead. And that might be as hard a ball as Jose Ramirez has hit this year. That'll bring up Michael Brantley. Two ground outs, but he got an RBI with one of them in the first inning. Delivers. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep right field. That ball's way back, and it is a home run. Jose Ramirez. Ramirez ties this game at one with his sixth home run on the season. A towering blast down the right field line, and he cleared the scoreboard and put it onto that patio area above the high wall and right, and the Indians have tied things up here in the fourth inning with one swing. The 2-0. Swung on and blasted to deep right field. Away, back, and gone. Jose Ramirez with his second home run of the game. And there is a game breaker right there. 
Cleveland six, Baltimore three here in the ninth. Folks, Jose Ramirez is back. Five hits this weekend. Three home runs this weekend. And the Indians get a game-breaking two-run home run to right from Jose Ramirez and lead it 6-3 to three with nobody out. Here comes the 2-2. There goes the runner. The pitch is up high. The throw down by Martin. He's not in time this time. Stolen base, Jose Ramirez. So he gets into scoring position with his third stolen base on the season. That's in three tries for him. Now we'll wait and see. John Gibbons, the manager for the Blue Jays, looking back at his bench coach and see if the replay review is in order. It's not. The 3 0 pitch to him. He swings and drives it high and deep to right. Home run, Jose Ramirez. A moonshot into the lower stands and right for Ramirez, and the Indians grab the lead for the first time tonight. Drive four, Blue Jays two. Eighth home run of the season for Jose Ramirez. Well, he challenged him on 3-0, and Ramirez got a pitch right out over the plate and lost it on him. Now Michael Brantley steps in. Still nobody out in the inning. The payoff. Swung and blasted. Deep right center field. Gone. And we are tied at five. Jose Ramirez hammers a two-run home run into the Yankee bullpen in right center. How about what the Indians have been doing this week when facing a big-time deficit? A five-run Indians eighth inning, and we've got a 5-5 ball game. Ramirez with his ninth home run, eight of them left-handed. And plenty of people in the third and fourth decks. The next pitch, and it's swung on, belted deep center field. It is on its way off the batter's eye, high above the center field wall. Jose Ramirez has a team high, 10 homers, and a team high, 22 RBIs. A huge batter's eye above the wall in center, all the way up to the Mammoth video board. And that thing almost went through the batter's eye before it ricocheted back onto the playing field. So it's a two to one ball game. Now the set, now the pitch, runner takes off, pitch outside. Pena throw to second, head first slide, Ramirez is safe. Pena has thrown out 33% of the would-be base dealers. And Milwaukee may want to check this to see if they want to challenge the call. Ramirez now four steals on the air. He's only been caught one time. Doubtful they'll challenge this call, and we're waiting to see what the manager, Craig Council, wants to do, and he finally says, let it go. Ramirez off the bag at first. There he goes. Good jump. The throw down by Pena, not nearly in time. Stolen base for Jose Ramirez, his second in the game, and he now has five on the season. Jose Ramirez batting left-handed. He hits a drive into deep right center field, and it is gone. Jose Ramirez now with a team best 11 bombs, a team best 24 RBIs, and Jose Ramirez hits a laser, a two-run home run to right center, and the Indians have an early 2-0 lead on Kansas City. And now Ramirez ranks fourth in the American League in homers with 11. Boston's Mookie Betts has 13. Then Joey Gallo from Texas and the Angels' Mike Trout each with a dozen. Then Jose Ramirez with 11. The next delivery. Swung out and blasted to deep left. Away, back and gone. Jose Ramirez. 
Ruiz with a two out, three run home run to left. And the Indians have scored five here on this Mother's Day in the second inning. A bullet off the bat of Jose Ramirez. He now has 12 home runs and 27 RBIs. And Duffy has given up his 11th long ball of the year. And the Indians get that critical two out hit. And do not let Duffy escape. Now the set and the pitch. There goes Ramirez. The pitch is outside. The throw down. Not in time. Stolen base. Jose Ramirez. That's his sixth. Boy, and this is yet another box score filling day for Jose Ramirez. The double, the three run home run, a walk, and now a stolen base. No score, two outs, nobody on first inning. The next delivery, it's swung on, and this is hit to deep right. Good from back near the wall. He'll leap and says, forget it. It's out of here. A home run as Jose Ramirez has hit his now team high 13th home run. And the Indians have the early 1-0 lead. Nico Goodrum got to the wall and right, and he was about to leap, and as he started to leap, he just stopped because he knew he wasn't going to be able to play LeBron James and snag that one. So that is the eighth home run this year allowed by Mike Fires, and Jose Ramirez is now tied with Mookie Betts and Manny Machado for the league lead in homers. Here it comes. A swing and a drive, headed to deep right field, away, back, and gone! Jose Ramirez puts it in the basket above the ivy and above the wall in right. His 14th home run of the season, a three-run blast. What an at-bat for Ramirez. He hit one home run foul. He blistered another ball foul down the right field line, and then he drills a three-run home run to right. Ramirez now 14 homers, 34 RBIs, 3-0 Indians. Next pitch, Ramirez on the move. The pitch is swung on and missed, and Ramirez will move up to second base on a stolen base, his seventh on the season. Here's Jose Ramirez, switch hitter batting left-handed. Hits one high, hits it deep to right center. It is gone! Jose Ramirez jumps on the first Garrett Cole offering and blasts a two-run home run center he has a team high 15 bombs a team high 37 runs batted in and the Indians strike early and lead two to nothing thanks to Jose Ramirez the 1-0 swung on and there's a high fly ball deep right center field way back home run Jose Ramirez Number 16 for Ramirez as he continues to put up outstanding numbers and the Indians now lead it 5 to 1. Oh, he is so locked in. If you leave a pitch out over the plate, and Giolito did. Now the 3 2. Swung on. There's a high fly ball. Deep right field. Way back. Home run, Jose Ramirez. Number 17 for Jose Ramirez. His torrid stretch continues. 8 nothing try. You cannot leave a pitch out over the plate to Jose Ramirez or he will lose it. And he did right there, a bomb into the lower stands in right center. What a year for Ramirez going. Here's the 0-1. Swung on, line drive, deep right field. Back is Kepler looking up, and that one is in the stands. Home run, Jose Ramirez.
And the Indians continue to pour it on here in Minneapolis. 7-0 Tribe. Number 18 for Jose Ramirez. He is now in a tie for the league lead with Mike Trout and J.D. Martinez. I mentioned that little section of stands atop the 23-foot high wall. And Ramirez just made it, put it into the, the shrubbery. That's <laughs> a very deep high school draft class. So Ramirez with a drive to deep right field. It is gone. Into the win, but a line drive homer to right by Jose Ramirez. And the Indians have a 3-1 to one lead. And Ramirez with his team high 19th homer, his team high 42nd RBI. And did you draft anybody that reminds you of Jose Ramirez? <laughs> Word. It's been fun to watch, Jose, for sure. And I'm glad that he just hit one out. It makes me feel a lot better about being up here right now. <laughs> but I think it's a great point, Scott, that Tito made tonight about Bradley Zimmer, former first-round pick, who's going to be a tremendous player. He already is pretty darn good. After a long pause, the 2-1 with the runner going. That's a ball to throw to second base, and he is safe at second base. Now Smith didn't have time to get up and make the throw, and he threw it on one hop from his knees. And now Ramirez is in scoring position at second with the two down. And the count ran one on Francisco Lindor. Yeah, Ramirez went on the first move of the left-handed pitcher. The pitch. Swung on and hit high. Deep to right center field. It is gone. Jose Ramirez breaks the tie with a two-run home run to right center. And the Indians have a 4-2 lead. And Jose Ramirez has home run number 20. And now 46 RBIs on the year. Boy, Ramirez had 29 home runs last year, and he's already at 20 in the middle of June. The top home run hitter in the American League. Well, you've got Mike Trout at 23 and J.D. Martinez at 22 and now Jose Ramirez at 20. The 2-2. Swung in and blasted! Deep right field! Away! Back and gone! Four to two, Minnesota leads as Frankie Lindor and now Jose Ramirez play home run derby. What an at-bat by Jose Ramirez on the eighth pitch of the at-bat. A no doubt about it home run to right. So Romero had given up three home runs in eight starts this year. He gives up two here in the first. Now the set in the 0-2 pitch. Runner goes again outside, no throw, and Ramirez has his ninth steal. Shift is on to the right side of the infield. Ramirez batting left-handed. And he sends one high in the air. Deep right center field. It is gone. Jose Ramirez makes it 3-0 Indians on a home run to right center. His team high 22nd. And now a team high 50 RBIs. And the Indians have made the White Sox pay for their mistakes in this series. A walk, an error, and a three-run bomb to right center by Jose Ramirez. And the Indians have a 3-0 lead and still nobody out. The 2-2 pitch. There goes Ramirez. The pitch is up high. The throw down. Not in time. Stolen base. Jose Ramirez. Pretty good throw by Narvaez, but again, a tremendous jump for Ramirez, who had quite a few during that at-bat by Encarnacion. And finally, a pitch was far outside the strike zone enough that Encarnacion laid off, and Ramirez steals his 10th base on the season. Here's the pitch. There goes Ramirez. The pitch is up high. No throw by McCann. And safe at second base with a stolen base. His 11th is Jose Ramirez. A great jump there by Ramirez. And you put the pressure on. 
the Tigers to make a decision in that spot and McCann probably wisely held on to it. Angle toward the third base foul line. The pitch is swung out and blasted. Deep right field. Way out of here. Jose Ramirez hits number 23. That went halfway up the seats in the lower bowl and right. And the Indians just keep tattooing Tiger pitching. Seven to two tribe. And a three hit game. For Jose Ramirez, who has now slugged 23 homers, has now knocked in 52 runs. And he now is leading the league in home runs with Boston's J.D. Martinez and the Angels' Mike Trout. Here he comes, runner goes, pitch swung on a miss, McCann no throw. How about that? Ramirez has his 12th stolen base. The Indians have swiped three bases in this inning talk about staying aggressive and that's part of the Indians game that doesn't probably get a, a ton of attention in fact the Indians have enough athletes that they can manufacture runs now the set now the 2 1 pitch runner goes pitch is taken a strike no throw and Jose Ramirez has his 13th steal he's only been caught twice So the Indians have an insurance run at second as they lead in this game five to one and a two two count with two down in the ninth on Edwin Encarnacion. And he goes and the pitch is low. The sun coming into play. Here's the pitch to Ramirez. He swings and drives one high and deep right center. Does it have enough? It's deep. Home run Jose Ramirez. A second solo home run in the inning for the Tribe, and the Indians now lead it 2 nothing. Number 24 for Jose Ramirez, now tied with the great Mike Trout of the Angels, second in the American League in home runs behind J.D. Martinez. The Red Sox outfielder has 25. Another towering blast that got out of here, and what a difference. There he goes. The pitch is a strike. The throw down by Perez, not in time. Stolen base for Jose Ramirez, his 15th on the season. Boy, that's what's been impressive for Ramirez. The power numbers are way up for him, but that hasn't impacted the rest of his game, the speed, the defense, anything like that. That's still there, and... Now he has 15 steals. He's definitely a multiple threat, no question about it. Here's the 0-2. There goes Ramirez. The pitch is up high. The throw down, not in time. Stolen base, Jose Ramirez, number 16 on the season for Ramirez. He's now tied with his teammate, Rajay Davis, with 16 steals. They're tied for third in the American League. D. Gordon of the Mariners has 22 to lead the way. Oakland seven and a half back in the division. There's a swing and a miss. On the move is Ramirez. The throw in time. They got him. Boy, Ramirez looks back. He can't believe it. And we'll see if the Indians want to take a look at this. The throw was sailing to the first base side of second. And Escobar, the shortstop, had to lunge to make the catch. And we'll see. If the Indians want to look at it, they do. Terry Francona says, put the headsets on. Let's check with New York. C.B. Buckner trying to get a good look at it, the second base umpire, but the Indians think, no, 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 no. So this one goes back to New York. It is a Barbasol close shave manager's challenge brought to you by Barbasol Razors. Try the new. Barbasol, Ultra 6 Plus today. The headsets are off. Safe is the call. So, well, that didn't take long. Ten seconds. Infield double play depth. Outfield straight away and deep. Pagan's ready. The pitch. Runner goes. Pitch is taking a strike. Throw to second is high. Coming home. Lindor throw to the plate. And first slide safe.
Lucroy with a high throw to second. No chance to get Ramirez. And then Lindor got kind of a late break from third to home and still beat the throw to the plate with a head first slide. Here's his 0-1. There goes Ramirez. The pitch is bounced up there, and there'll be no throw as it's blocked by Lucroy to prevent the advance at third by Allen. Stolen base for Jose Ramirez. Down the 2-2. Swung out and blasted. Deep right center field. This ball gone. And Jose Ramirez takes back the team lead in bombs. Number 25 for Ramirez. And it's 2-0 Indians. And I think it's pretty safe to say as those two guys go, so goes the Indians offense. Might not be fair, but this is a completely different team. Malley working in the middle of the rubber even from the stretch. He sets, hands above the waist, and the pitch swung on and a rocket deep right down the line. Go! Two nothing Indians. Jose Ramirez for the second night in a row has a first inning home run. Number 26 for Jose Ramirez, and 23 of them have been left handed. And that was a line drive bullet. That easily cleared the wall in right. And the Indians have the early 2-0 lead, just like they had last night. And Jose Ramirez is going into the All-Star game on fire. The payoff pitch. Swung on, blasted, high, deep to right, down the line, goal! Next pitch to Ramirez, wallop to right, back on it, Judge looking up, forget it. Home run, Jose Ramirez. And just like that, this game is tied at four. A line drive to right that never got too high. And Ramirez, on his 28th home run of the season, has tied this game. Sabathia kicks and delivers, and Ramirez swings and socks one. High, deep to left center. It's got a chance. Go on to the bleachers. This kid just continues to amaze. Number 29 for Jose Ramirez, and the Indians are on the board, trailing three to one. J.D. Martinez hit his 29th today for Boston, so Green the set, and Green the pitch. Runner goes, pitch swung on a miss, throw to second, head first slide, safe, balls in center. Getting up now is Ramirez, throw to second, head first slide, safe again. The first Cleveland Indian since Grady Sizemore. 20 homers, 20 steals going into the All-Star break. That'll be his 20th stolen base and a throwing error on Iga Shioka. Jose Ramirez, the number three hitter, socks the first pitch to deep center. On the run to Shields, track, wall, leaps, it's gone. And we are tied again. Dead center field, 400 feet away, and Jose Ramirez has hit his major league leading 30th home run.
He was so intent on getting 30 home runs last year. He finished the year with 29. In fact, some will tell you they think maybe that last week of the regular season, Jose Ramirez really got out of his swing trying to hit that one more home run to give him 30. Now the set by Tyone. The runner at first goes. It's up and in. No throw to second. And a steal by Ramirez. He's now 21 for 24 in that department. Hand will come out. Runner goes. Pitch swung on a miss. Throw to second. Head first slide. It's a steal. So now tied for the league lead and steals is Jose Ramirez with his 22nd. Two of them today. It's a strikeout of Encarnacion for the second out. And now manager Clint Hurdle wants to play matchup and he'll summon the left-hander. Runner goes. Pitch is taken outside from his knees. McCann's throw is in the dirt. Dug out by Goodrum, but the second baseman has no chance to tag out Ramirez. And Ramirez has 23 steals now. And that puts him one behind Seattle's D. Gordon for the league lead. So it sure looks like Jose Ramirez is going to become a 30-30 man. He has 30 homers. He now has 23 steals. He's been caught three times. The pitch. Runner goes. Pitch way outside. Ramirez has his 24th stolen base. One behind the league leader, D. Gordon of Seattle. And that's critical. Runner at first going. It's high. No throw to second. Jose Ramirez Got a huge jump. Ramirez, the high hold and the pitch. Runner goes. Pitches a curve up and in. Throw to second. No chance. Wow. What a jump for Jose Ramirez, who now has 26 stolen bases on the year. And that ties him with Seattle's D. Gordon for the league lead. That's a big run out at second base. One down in the eighth with the Indians holding on to a 3-0 lead. Now the 1-0 pitch, runner goes. It's taken for a strike from his knees. Garver's throw, and it hit. The head first sliding, Ramirez kicks into center. He gets up, goes to third. Another head first slide, beats the return throw there. Boy, you talk about aggressive base running. And he got drilled with that first throw. He is slow to get up. So give Ramirez his league leading 27th steal. Then he goes to third on what ends up being a throwing error by the catcher Garver, who had to throw from his knees, actually made a pretty good throw. Goal base 27, two seven. So the Indians with their second steal tonight. Runner at third, two down. Indians leading at one to nothing. Pretty good lead for Jose Ramirez. Workman's ready. There he goes. And whoa, did he get a jump. Pitches a ball, throws, skips into center. Getting up Ramirez, but he'll stay put. He was down for a little bit on a head first slide. What a jump he got off Brandon Workman. Sandy Leon might as well have thrown the ball up here. He had no chance to catch him. And that's 28 steals for Ramirez, best in the American League. Well, you talk about a complete package. Jose Ramirez, a tremendous defender wherever you play him on the infield. Second in the league in homers. Third in the league in RBIs. Leading the league in stolen bases. Runs for Cleveland. Runner on the move. And Ramirez is safe at second without a throw. He was almost a second base. Like he was starting his slide when Gunford caught that ball. 29 stolen bases to go along with his 37 home runs. Not much of a chance there. And a little bit of an off 30 30 guy for the tribe. The one two, there he goes again. Pitch is low, no throw, and there he has it. The third Cleveland Indian to ever have 30 homers, 30 steals in a season.